Welcome back guys. Let's just talk about this canvas really quick and get a quick look at this. Um, this will be a bit of a longer video, but just bear with me guys. We have a lot to do in this one. So let's select this surface here and create a sketch. And let's press finish sketch. And that basically gave me a profile that I can just press pull now to uh, make a nice little cut. So right about here. Say okay. Now let's go and go to create sketch again. Now let's use our circle diameter circle tool here. And from this center point somewhere around here, let's uh, create this little circle. Now we can select both of these by shift selecting them, right click and press pull. We're just gonna pull it out just a little bit. Right about here. Change it from join to new body. And I don't know if you wanna chamfer this or fill it this. Let's just, um, let's try, let's try drafting this actually. So we're gonna left click and hold and select this bottom face and we're gonna select the side. Now what that let us, lets us do is change the scaling of the top surface. Let's hit okay to finalize that. Now let's select the surface and create another sketch and let's use our circle diameter circle tool from the center point here and just follow the reference. Something around here. And we can right click hit okay. Now let's select the surface and press pull it outwards. Something around here, leave it on join. Now we can hit F to enter fillet mode and we'll just round this off. So something about like this looks great. Let's hit okay. Now what do I wanna do now is go back to the front view and let's select, um, let's go to create pipe. I'm gonna just select this ring here and that looks fine. So we'll just hit okay to cut that out. I'm gonna also hit F to enter fillet mode once again. I'm gonna round this sharp edge off. Now back in the front view, let's select this surface and create a sketch. And let's use circle diameter circle right here on this edge line here and just bring it outwards to about here. Right click hit OK and we can uh, shift select both of these and let's just pull this down to get a nice little cut. But we're going to change it from cut to new body because I want to pattern this around. So we'll go to create pattern, circular pattern, change it from faces to bodies and for the axes, first we'll choose this body and then for the axes we'll choose any ring on here and leave it on three, that should be good because I think there's three little cuts and we'll just hit OK. Now we'll go to combine and combine that with these three bodies we just created and change it from joint to cut. Now we have those shapes cut out. Now what we can do is go to create sketch and I want to select the 2D background and let's uh, start working on some of these details here. So what I'll do for this is just create a line because lines are infinite so we'll leave that there and I'll select this line and duplicate it. Control C, Control V and I'll just slide this other line right about here. Hit OK and if I want I'll just duplicate that again so Control V and bring that right about here and um, that should be good for now. So let's finish sketch and what I'll go do is go to modify split body and I'll select this cylinder shape here and for the splitting tool I'll select all three of these lines so I can cut it in three different sections let's hit OK to do that so really quick if I just press pull this surface here you'll see that I can change the size of it and offset this and that added a bit of intricacy to it at the same time now what we can do is press pull this and this is going to press pull and XT beyond uh, the body above it so you see it's actually uh, breaching that other one here but we're going to fix that here in a second so just bear with me I'm going to go to modify chamfer we're just going to chamfer this edge to match the reference it probably would have been better to do a fillet but I think I'll be fine with this it'll make it look better once uh, I actually split the body so let's press pull this one and bring this one down a bit to about here and let's hit OK Go to modify chamfer and we'll chamfer off this edge as well. Both of these to get this little shape matching the reference. Now what I like to do is just uh, grab this surface here and go to create sketch. And now we're on the bottom. And we're going to use the, um, the two point rectangle tool here to create a giant box. And this box will basically serve as a splitting tool you'll see just here in a moment so I'll bring it to something around here right click it OK 
and I want to select this surface right about so let's make this a bit longer make sure we have the whole body engulfed and I'm going to press pull this profile both of those and I'm going to pull this up right through here and I'm going to change it from cut to new body so I have a giant rectangle right now so what I'm going to do is just um, basically go to combine select this body and I'll actually combine these three pieces together these three bodies and change it from cut to join now that's all three of those cylindrical shapes are one body and I'll toggle back on the one we just created now I'm going to go to combine combine the cylinder shape we just combined with this rectangular body we just created and change it from join to cut and that's going to cut it directly and make it flat on the side so you can see what we just did and you guys might need to rewind that if I'm going a bit too fast because I understand that can be a bit tricky if you if you're new to fusion so what I'm going to do is just fill it off these uh, bottom edges. So I'm going to hit F and round this off here. So it's underneath this little guard. Now I'll hit OK. Finalize that. Now I'll combine these parts together, these bodies. Now they're one. And if we need to separate it, we'll separate it later on. But I think for now, just to get this internal piece done, now we'll select this frontal area and create a sketch. And let's use a two-point rectangle from the center to somewhere around here to give it a nice little cut. And now what I want to do is right-click, hit OK to exit that mode. And I'm going to just select this profile and press pull it. And I'm going to pull this outwards to match the reference and change it from join to new body. Now we can select this side here and press pull this to make it a bit wider to match the reference a bit better. Now let's hit OK. Now we'll go to modify. We'll go to, I don't know if I want to draft this. Yeah, we'll draft this. So let's left click and hold to select the bottom face of this body. And now select the side. Now if we go back to the front view, we can use this widget to better match the reference. Let's hit OK once satisfied. Now I'll select the surface and go to create sketch and I'll use the offset function here and I'll just grab this widget and pull it inwards to make the circumference a lot smaller and then we'll select the profile to press pull and we're going to press pull this through these two bodies here and we can leave it on cut or change it to new body and hit OK and let's just duplicate this so I'll hold this Control C, Control V to duplicate that. And let's just toggle one of them off so we can see what we're doing. So let's combine uh, this body with this little piece here. Not the cylindrical piece, this small uh, frontal. And we'll just join those together. Now we'll go to combine. We'll combine this giant piece with the cylindrical tube that we have here. And we'll change it from join to cut. So we get a nice hole down the middle of that, as you can see. Now we're going to toggle back on the body we duplicated and we're going to press combine once again but this time we're going to cut that other shape out so back in the front view what we'll do is go to create sketch select the 2d background and there's a lot of different options we have to create this area but i think i'm going to go with the two point rectangle and just create a little uh, giant rectangle from somewhere around uh, this area and we'll just bring it up to about here and I'm going to be steering a bit further away from the actual concept, so just uh, kind of pay attention to what I'm going to be doing here. I'm press pulling this profile that we created, and I'm going to pull it out to somewhere around here. And I'm going to change this from cut to new body, and also I'm going to change the direction from uh, one-sided to symmetric, so it's mirrored on the other half. And then I'll just hit OK. Now, really quick, I'll hit F on the keyboard to enter fillet mode, and I'll grab both of these bottom edges and now back in the front view I'm gonna round this off so I can get a nice little uh, like kind of like a cylindrical shape around here and let's hit OK now let's go to create sketch select the 2d background and what I want to do is use the line tool here and just follow this angle um, this angle diagonal line on the reference and what I'll do is just duplicate this control C control V to about right here 
and this looks good so I'll hit OK. Now I'll finish sketch and go to modify split body. Select our main body and the splitting tool will be these two lines we created. Let's hit OK and let's press pull this and you see how we get that effect so now we know that we can duplicate this so control C control V this body and we're gonna toggle off the original or remove the original I'm sorry now we can press pull this and actually get the result we were looking for before so let's hit OK and one thing I, I do want to do is enter fillet mode by pressing F and I want to round these off so somewhere around here that looks really good now I'll go to create pattern pattern on path change it from faces to bodies select our body and for the path will be this line here and we'll just drag this to somewhere around here let's change the quantity from three to about eh, six six is okay six or five either of those two are fine hit okay and now we just want to combine these so we go to combine select this body this one yeah, all these bodies we just created and also in the background that main body right there change from cut to join and we have one giant body and let's select this front face here and go to create sketch and let's just use the circle diameter circle tool from this center line here and just pull out somewhere around here that looks good right click hit OK and let's just press pull this profile and we'll pull this to this area here and let's change it to new body let's hit OK now we can move this if we need to just to make it a bit lower so something around here that's good now we can press pull this and I want to make this a little bit bigger so we'll just not that big we'll just dial, dial this up a bit and hit OK now we can go to create sketch select our 2D background or the 2D plane and we'll use the two, uh, two point rectangle to uh, get a half of a rectangle so right here and we're going to be revolving this so let's just go to line and follow this reference that looks good and we'll just connect these two use our trim tool and we'll just clip off this line but we don't have to we don't need to we'll just revolve this all at once so shift select these and select that that axis here at the top the top edge and change it to new body and there you go and what also what I like to do is just move this we'll move this to uh, be more in the middle and offset this a bit so now what we can do is go to create sketch once again select our 2D background and there's a lot of different tools we can use for this we could use the line tool and the spline tool either or but I think it's uh, probably best that I use the two point rectangle and what I want to do is just create a little rectangular shape following this uh, image in the background so somewhere around here have it collide through these bodies and we're going to just select this profile and press pull it outwards and we'll pull this out to about here right We'll change it from cut to new body once we're satisfied hit OK and I want to go to uh, modify draft and I'll just select this top face and the side face and we'll just draft this outwards and let's hit OK now what I want to do is go to create sketch and I want to work on these little uh, cylindrical pieces here in the front so once you select the sketch on the 2D background we'll use a two point rectangle to kind of create this uh, rectangular box shape and we'll just double click to select it so we can rotate this and that's lined up pretty good I think we'll just bring it down right click hit OK and let's just adjust this center point we want it to be directly in the middle so that looks good and we'll use the line tool to finish this off matching the reference so let's bring that here and we could uh, use a line to connect those but instead we'll use the arc so we're going to arc three point arc from this point to this corner. And let's just round this off a bit. Something around here that looks great. So now once we finish sketch, we can uh, go to revolve or just uh, select the icon. And now we're going to 
choose the axis which would be the center line and let's change it from cut to new body that looks great and now we can just go to the body and control C control V to duplicate that and then we'll just slide this over to match the second one here on the reference image and let's create a sketch once again on the 2d background and this is I know you guys this is uh, it's a lot of lot to lot to do this video I told you guys it was going to be long, but it's going to be worth it. So we're going to do a giant rectangle here. We're just going to right-click and press pull this out just a little bit. And we're not going to do too much to it now. We're just going to leave it here, and I'll continue in the next video. So change it to new body. Hit OK.